that I thought was really kind of bizarre and <laughs> something that needs to kind of be said that probably shouldn't be highlighted, but hopefully people just kind of know. For the most part, I think it's incredibly important if you do go to these spaces like Burkhain that kind of have this no photo policy that are intrinsically tied to the queer, in, to the queer club scene and just place where people for the most part enjoy the freedom of being somewhat anonymous and just letting all go of all their inhibitions and just going in there into the incredibly dark club right one of the darkest clubs i think of legit words especially if you go towards the front the last thing you should be doing or thinking about is oh if i bump into somebody who well, i don't know a celebrity should i be taking a picture or reporting back and kind of writing reports and you know giving people a heads up as to what happened i know it happened already with flipping elon musk and whatnot um, with him being in a queue fair enough and get rejected but i think if you're in there you owe everybody that's in there a kind of sense of privacy um you know to kind of or just a sense of kind of non whatever that behavior that you do outside when you see a celebrity you should not do that when you're in there you should leave people the f alone just leave them alone to enjoy themselves i've seen plenty of people in there who are well known people you know from all kind of walks of life in terms of or from all kind of scales of celebrity from you know the z's to the a's and the last thing i'm ever going to go in there is kind of you know try and fan out and make it awkward for them and make them feel like they're being seen or being watched in some way someone's writing a report no 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 unless they obviously come up to you and say something which has maybe happened once before in my time and still i didn't go out my way to let them know that i know who they are just kind of had a kind of cool interaction in the toilet and kind of kept moving but i really do think you owe everybody that goes in there and yourself um just the opportunity to just kind of let go of that kind of stuff that you would do in any other place you know the, the fragrant recording they obviously you can't do the pictures obviously you can't do and just enjoy it because i don't think there's a lot of the other day i was just thinking about this the other day um because i saw this picture i'm actually going to try and get it up on here and i'll post it when i do the clip but i remember seeing this picture earlier on of um anna anna um anna Kashian, uh dasha and um close event and somebody else and i think they went to a, a morrissey show somewhere so clearly they're all hanging out and being friends and stuff cool whatever but i was just thinking about close event and looking at her thinking like you're a legit legend a legit it girl like a legit cool person like an actual bona fide cool arty cultured and just you know person that just gets it right and she's been doing this for years she's been at the height or somewhat of her career for a long time um influencing culture and just being an absolute icon and for the most part she's not the most socially she's not the most social media active person she's not every day posting her on her stories she's not every day posting where she's at on her instagram page obviously there's loads of pages that kind of report and snap her the same with the olsen twins but she lives a somewhat you would steam it anonymous life where she just kind of concentrates on her art she looks after her family enjoys her husband and whatnot her friends her social life and keeps it moving and i was wondering with someone like that you know because she also she wears incredibly cool outfits she wears incredibly cool clothes she's you know going to all these cool places getting invited to fashion shows to premieres and whatnot but there's no inclination and no desire from her side of things to capture those moments and put them on social media or if she has captured them they're for her own private collection whether they're in a photo album or just stuff she puts on maybe a secret flipping finster but for the most part publicly especially for me being a fan there's not much out there right you don't see play-by-plays of her getting dressed on the way to meet anna and dasha and other friends to go to this morrissey show you only saw that she was there because anna posted an instagram story of them all there watching morrissey perform live but for the most part she just keeps it humble not humble she just keeps it kind of you know cute and does her thing and maybe that's added to her longevity in the industry i'm not too sure but overall i think that's interesting and cool because i feel like the Berghain, especially when you go in places like that or maybe every, most clubs in berlin that have no fur policy it feels like it's the only opportunity similar to when you're on an airplane you know some people in the airplanes are like oh that's the only time i get to read that's the only time i get to watch a movie or whatever it may be because you legitimately don't have the distraction of this flipping bad boy right it's not distracting you for once this flipping the phone that you got in your hand smartphone whatever you have it's not distracting you You get a chance to kind of you know really absorb yourself or concentrate on the thing that you're doing whether it's sleeping whether it's reading whether it's watching a movie or whatnot and i feel like when you go into those clubs you probably owe it to yourself for one moment in your life to kind of just surrender to the moment and just let go of the things that you would do outside in your normal everyday life and just kind of enjoy it in that moment the same way you go to a cinema and you wouldn't be on your phone you'd be just watching a movie the same thing you should do when you go to those kind of clubs and maybe clubs overall because i'm a big believer in you know 
there, there probably should be no photo policy in all clubs for the most part. You shouldn't be taking videos and whatnot because if anything, you don't really capture the moment anyway. You don't, you don't capture anything. It doesn't really represent what you're actually seeing, hearing and feeling when you're actually there. So why bother? If anything, you know how they say similar to like um when somebody's blind, they have a heightened sense of maybe smell and hearing. I think there is something to be said for legitimately committing to not using your phone when you're on the dance floor and just kind of committing to just, Mm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just enjoy this. I'm not gonna have my phone. I'm just gonna enjoy this, and that's all I'm going to do. I think that will absolutely go a long way in terms of enjoying those things. And obviously, when that happens, the last thing you're gonna want to do is if you bump into a famous person in the toilet, say, "Oh my God, I loved doing this. Uh, I wish I could get a picture." It's like, no, 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 no. Maybe a little head nod if you see them passing you. Maybe a little dab. Oh my God, hey, what's up, man? Whatever it may be, but this idea of making them seen and stripping away their anonymity and privacy just feels gross to me in my opinion it really does feel that especially coming away with like reports of what you saw what they were getting up to it's like shut the fuck up keep it to yourself enjoy your night as they're enjoying themselves and just keep it moving for the most part i think so but hey what do i know when it comes to that sort of stuff and then that also got me thinking of this with somebody um posted online actually earlier regarding an early i get i guess it's a, it's a beta example of an app that they're about to launch i'm not going to speak too much on it because i don't know how much this is meant to be public i'm just going to show you a quick picture of what it kind of looks like and it's essentially an app which allows you to quickly at a glance kind of check um how long a dj has that's playing in a particular room in Berghain, Panorama bar uh Berghain, obviously main floor garden and the triple x floor and essentially it's a way for you to kind of at a glance just see how long that set is going to be how long that's left in the set um you know who's coming up next or you know when you can basically pop into a room because that's usually the one thing that kind of you know is a bit hard to kind of get your head around when you finally get into the bird and it's like okay cool i want to see this person down there i want to see that person up there i want to see this person on the main floor and you're trying to figure it out and that's the only time you kind of get out of your especially for me because i tried my best when i go in there to just leave my phone alone it's the one time, even when I go there, for the most part, I don't post stories. I'm not doing play by plays of where I am. If anything, I just, you know, or maybe take a couple pics here and there and post them when I'm back home, which is quite funny. Some people always post up later. Oh, are you here? It's like, nah, mate, I left already a long time ago. But I was thinking about it, and as great as an idea as it is, because it made me just think about that stuff about, you know, if you see celebrities in Berkheim or nightclubs, leave them alone. I think there is something to be said for maybe having that same sort of board that kind of shows you at a glance who's playing and what's next somewhere in that space i know maybe it'll take away from the kind of immersive nature of that club because i feel like once you walk through especially once you everything about it is so so ritualistic the queuing up the selection process the flipping nerves of everything going through the security the ticket going up the you know going to the cloakroom handing over your stuff it feels like you're sort of you know leaving your old self there going up the stairs entering into the sort of labyrinth and sort of walking up the stairs and boom you're sort of into this major room and you just get slapped all this sound in your face all this bass so maybe if you had an led screen showing who was playing it'll maybe kind of take you out of it again because it's another screen you recognize it as a screen and we'll like you take out your phone we'll take a picture of it or something i don't know something will happen but i feel like maybe there should be a center point somewhere where everyone could just at a glance see okay who's playing and then you can go and play instead of having it be an app i know everyone's using their phone anyway but i think that might be more beneficial because i'm not too sure if i want to have an app i'm not too sure if i want to be in app mode when i'm in there i want to kind of be in club mode and not want to use my phone not want to touch it. i just want to be immersed in the environment that i'm in and not kind of use my phone as a crux for any social occasion i have this also thing where i do when i go out especially when i go club nights and stuff i kind of want to just avoid touching my phone because i don't want to have it as a thing of whenever i feel uncomfortable i touch it instead of just talking to somebody instead of dancing or whatever it may be right i'm just going to my phone because i feel uncomfortable because i'm not sure what to do with my body not sure what to do with my hands it's like no, no 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 just chill and dance have a good time and it's really hard to kind of get your head around doing that kind of thing but i think that may be a far better way to do things than to try and be that you know happy guy on the flipping dance floor checking who's coming on who's playing on and usually anyway if you leave at a certain time depending on where you are in the queue you could you should probably know who you want to see anyway you just have a rough idea of what you want to do um but i don't know i'm i'm, I'm in two minds about the app i like it i like the i like the what they say the, the ui the ux looks really cool i like that maybe it's at, at a glance you could just quickly check it it's like a little widget fair enough but i feel like i'd prefer to just have something in the club that they would probably put up 
that you could just check at a glance, like a little screen, sort of like a departure board that you'd have in an airport that you kind of see who's playing and then going from there. But I don't know if that would be a distraction. You know, I had a departure board in the airport. It feels like one of those sort of like it's a moth to a flame. Everyone kind of gets drawn to it and just staring at it like a zombie and just trying to hope your flipping thing changes if you keep looking at it long enough. Maybe that might happen with a screen. People just keep staring at it, hoping the next person they want to see name appears on there instead of just kind of enjoying themselves. So I don't know. Maybe it's counterintuitive, but maybe it's also a sign that, you know, nowadays, you know, with the clientele changing that goes there, they have different demands now. Maybe it's something that they legitimately need and request in order to make their experience fun. And if you're a place like Burkhan and you need to make money, you have to keep the lights on and pay people in terms of their wages and whatnot. You maybe have to do implement these kind of new technologies to kind of keep yourself somewhat, um, you know, with the times. But I don't know. I'm not too sure if all of those advances are really necessary. But we'll see. We'll see. But so far, I like the app. And hopefully, we'll see a wider release of it soon. If it does, I will probably do a full review here for you guys and let you know what it kind of feels like. But for me personally, I'll probably avoid taking out my phone and using it like that because I don't think it really serves any purpose.